and they're off here again. Bridgewater in lane four. Mary Baldwin lane two. Washington and Lee lane three. Lake Erie lane five. EMU lane six. And another Mary Baldwin team in lane seven. WNL coming on the inside. EMU looking in good shape over in lane six, along with Lake Erie. We'll have to see as they come in, though. Bridgewater now making a push. Bridgewater may be in first as we come into the home stretch. Passing Erie now. It is Bridgewater as they hand off to Valley. Bridgewater in first. Lake Erie right on their tails, but Emily Valley, the indoor All-American, looks like she will finish this off for the Eagles. So it's Peyton and then Miles Oliver from WNL. And then Johnny Hazel Cobina moving up into second. We'll see the 400 time. 57 seconds for those four leaders. Two more runners right behind them, and that's a group that includes Chris Moore from Bridgewater. Johnny Hazel Cobina now surging ahead of Peyton. He's in first with 300 meters to go. Still Miles in third and Andre Martin in fourth. Martin now surging back into third. So we should see a PR from him here. The Eagle rookie. 200 to go for Johnny Hazel Cobina. Trying to get the Bridgewater men their first track win at this Jobson meet. Bridgewater running one and three, 100 to go. Hazel Cobina looks strong. He should win with Peyton in second. Miles is trying to overtake Martin, and he does. 156 for Hazel Cobina. And they're off there. Bridgewater with Casey Hooker in lane three on the inside. Murphy Jones for WNL. All three runners fairly even early on. Chowning from EMU is in lane five. Right now it looks like Hooker and Jones overtaking Shouning. Still pretty close between those two on the inside. Two hundred to go. Casey Hooker may have a slight lead. Although it's pretty close between all three runners. It is Hooker in first. Two more hurdles to go. All three runners still in it. Hooker with the lead. Murphy Jones right on her tail. Jones pulling even closer. Hooker surging. One hurdle to go. If she can get over this clean, she should be able to kick it in. She does. And there's the kick from Casey Hooker. Another event win on the track for the Eagle women. 107.1. And we'll stick with him on this lap, and then we'll try to sort out the rest. But it might be 1-2 for the Eagles with Robert Timer in second. Currently sitting with two laps to go right now. Hagel down the back stretch. 200 to go. Clock at 14.50 right now, so Heigl looking at just over 15 minutes. Here he comes. He will finish 15.06. That's still looking strong. Well, and this is when it gets hard late. This is this is the hardest part of the race, and this is what you train for the entire time. Yeah, no one to run with now, but only 200 meters from home. Jenna Ray, the senior, going to win the 5K on her home track. On her home track, senior year, on senior day. It's a big moment. Congratulations to her. She's coming around the final turn looking to make one more lap. She just puts a, some more space in between her and the WNL general, who's trying to make a last second kick, but it looks like she's over 50 meters behind now. 
as Jenna picking it up here for the last 100 coming down the stretch. Around an EMU with 50 meters to go. And we lose the clock. <laughs> Looks like the clock Looks just like went off. So went yeah. May have to wait a few moments to get the times the here. But times. As she crosses the finish line, she will win the women's 5K. Congratulations to Jenna Ray. Now two BC runners pulling up behind them, closing the gap quickly. So we'll see if the – it may not be an all-distance group. You mentioned a, a few runners, I think, had to sub in. It might not be exactly what we have down on our sheet, but there's at least a partially distance 4x4 four four crew, and we'll see if they can hang in there. Well, Bridgewater closing the gap right now at about a uh, one to five-meter distance in between them, and now they've really pulled ahead here down the last stretch of the 100 for the guys out at the start. It certainly looks like Bridgewater 1-2 when they cut in. Yeah, and they are going after each other. Small lead on WNL coming into the first handoff. Shane taking it first in lane three. Yep, Shane Gibson may be in front. No, now being passed. Shane, yeah, Shane passed by both both guys on the outside. Shane sporting his famous mustache. He grows every year for Odax. As BC out in front has put about a five meter gap in between the generals and another five meter gap between them and Shane bringing up the rear. Coming around here, the final turn into the last 100 before the third handoff. Looks like it'll be Jack and Johnny. Johnny will be taking the first handoff, Jack taking it from Shane. So actually a mixture then, mix the distance runners in on both teams. Looks like they mix the distance, uh, and Jack of course is a great hurdler and uh, jumper here at BC. Johnny takes the handoff, takes off. General's right behind him, and Shane now to Jack. Clock reads 148 and counting as Johnny opening up a massive lead here in the first turn, close to 25 meters, 30 and growing. Jack catching WNL as WNL starting to slip slightly. And you'll see his form when he's running, his arms going slightly wild as I'm sure he hears the footsteps from the long legged Jack behind him. Jack, a 100 hurdler, main event here at Bridgewater. Johnny with the fantastic sub two. I believe it was 156 mid in the eight already. So this is an incredible double as he comes around the final turn with an over 50 meter lead. Jack taking over from the general's second place. Yep, Eagles 1 2 now. Johnny will come over to the handoff here. They'll have a nice lead. Jack's going to be handing it off right behind him, about 30 meters. Worth mentioning that Kenny, taking the handoff from Jack, also ran the 800 today on a nice time. So if it was rounds, Jack goes down hard there at the end of that 400. Tough race for him. Ran a great, ran a great race, but the 400 is, without a doubt, one of the toughest races. Yeah, he passed his... WNL competitor there and Kenny gave. keeping the lead there in front of him. However, in front of him, the rest of BC, I mean, there's a near 50 meter lead at this point. Kenny trying to hold on to that lead from the Generals as he's right on his heel and coming on hard. And it's going to be close for second place here. Final turn. Sprint squad is going to take the 400 from the distance. Kenny trying to hold on for second from WNL right behind him. They're coming around the last 100 hard. Kenny with maybe a half meter lead, but they're right neck to neck. WNL starting to pull ahead slightly. Can he, can he hold on? I don't think he can. Here's the last push. And Kenny may have had it by just a hair. I think he got it, 326 for the first Bridgewater team, and then Bridgewater 333, 333. in oh. second. Both